wide nine defense for an end? I think it's great. I don't know what challenges would there be. Um, just playing technique, just it, any different than playing a six or a four or a three or a shade. It's just doing your job, um, and your job change as far as what you know each guy does depending on where they're lined up. But at the end of the day, you have to do your job as, as it fits into the defense, and that's not any more challenging than if I was in a six or you know the big guys down there in shades and three. So. It's just doing your job whenever uh, the defense is called. Is it any more challenging to set the edge when you're so wide? Than if you're wearing a six or yeah. a four? Or, um, it's football. It's all challenging. Um, I don't. I would assume just the laws of physics um, would probably help you when you're not to set the edge. And you're out there already. So um, it plays the strengths of some guys. Some guys don't. So you got to adapt to the situation and, and again do your job does it work when you don't have a lead <laughs> um what does work if you don't have a lead you gotta you have to win period i mean that's i think that's splitting hairs at that point you i mean have to i'm talking about from to be to put such an emphasis on a rush game mm -hmm. don't you have to have a lead to have teams be forced to pass um, I, I wouldn't say that. I think you can be successful from that position regardless of the game situation. Um, run, run, pass, draw screen, whatever. Um, it's all about the mentality of the guy who's lined up there. Um, and we've seen it have great success when you, had, when you do it right. And obviously, if you don't do it right, then I don't care where you're lined up, you're not going to have success. So um, I don't think that's necessarily predicated on where you line up. It's, you know, whether you're doing your job correctly or not. Okay, can you speak to